All right. Um, this um, this is just a quick kind of um message before I get to the actual point of the video, but it's kind of a long overdue message. Um, and I just I it's kind of funny because I just kind of realized that it is such a long overdue message. Um, it's something I probably should have been saying on a bunch of other a uh, bunch of my other battles, but um, I kind of want to make sure I kind of want to make sure to thank a lot of people who've helped me in preparing for a bunch of the battles throughout the um, the GPC League um, as I've been going through because um, I ha I always like to get people's opinion even if like I'm sure the game I'm going to go into even if I'm sure I'm gonna like win for whatever reason um even if I made a team that I think is perfect even if anything like that I, I always like to get a second opinion and uh, not only that I always like to practice with the team just kind of get a get a feel for how the six specific Pokemon with their individual movesets work together. So I always like to get an opinion and I always like to practice test the teams. Um, and because of that, um, because I usually just kind of slap the team together as a, like a basic structure, uh, kind of myself, um, I think for that reason I've kind of been forgetting to mention that, uh, that I get a lot of help from a lot of people, but uh, I definitely want to bring it up right now because uh, it's definitely something that should be brought up. Um, the first thing is uh, Chris has me and Chris uh, team build together. Team built pretty much the whole um, whole season together. Um, he's been uh, he's been great. We've been um, we bounce ideas off of each other. Um, we t test against each other is one of the ma uh, the major things. Um, yeah, um, Chris has uh, helped me out a lot. Um, he's brought up a few. Uh, interesting things as well that I've uh, missed, um, which uh, which of course is always nice as well. And I don't know. Uh, overall, he's been helping. He's helped quite a lot, and uh, I think it's not really fair not to mention him. So I definitely have to mention uh, Chris. Uh, definitely. Um, Gareth has also done pretty much the same thing. Um, he's team built. Uh, he's tested against me. He's um, tested against me by using specific teams that he'd use. Like it, it wouldn't just be that like I send him a team. He would pretty much team build an EV specific build what he thinks is uh my my opponent would bring so um I like I wouldn't know what sets uh, Gareth would be bringing so he um he's helped out a lot as well in terms of uh, helping me test things out um and just being able to um like I said go ahead and customize the move sets uh, in EVs kind of specifically to you know kind of tailor what he thinks they would bring uh, or kind of help out um, as well and uh, especially um, you know taking me by surprise by a few moves that you know I wouldn't necessarily expect because um, if I'm taken by surprise by you know Gareth uh, in that battle then I wouldn't necessarily be taken by surprise by the same thing in my actual battle so definitely have to give huge shout outs to Gareth as well uh, all of these people I'll probably put in, this, in the description as well um, um, Omega, I've um, I haven't really uh bounced ideas off of Omega so much as I just be like sending him a message and be like, yo, why did I lose to this Pokemon? But uh, I have been uh, practicing against him a lot, and um, it's uh, it would just be nice to kind of have a person to practice against. Like I said, um, the more people you, the more variety of people you practice against, the more kind of variety of players you get to play against, and the more um kind of open you get against players. So like if I just play Chris as my only opponent for an example, um, then I'd only kind of get used to how Chris plays. But if I play Chris, Gareth, Omega, whole bunch of people, then um I won't really get stuck in a routine, um kind of in the routine that I got set in kind of when I went against Merc um in uh in that battle. Cause I kind of like I said got set in a routine of um you know how my opponent would uh, would be playing, and I was it was as if I was just specifically playing that opponent. So um, the variety really helped uh, just to be able to play with so many people. Um, Omega spent a lot of Omega probably wasted a lot of time um, just battling and rebattling and rebattling against me because I'd uh, I'd like change one thing. I'd have like four teams ready and like okay. I want to test four different teams, um, so use this team. So, um, yeah, he spent a lot of time. So again, huge props to him. Um, David as well, very much in the same sense that um, uh, Omega did. Um, he's not on the list, so I can't you know, point to him. But um, David did pretty much the same thing that uh, Omega did as well. So uh, very helpful there. 
and then um, I should probably also mention a few honor <laughs> a few mentions as well uh, to Uzi and I believe um, I believe there's one week that I asked Bob as well um, cause I'm pretty sure there's a uh, one week that I asked Bob and maybe one week that I asked Uzi um, for opinions and uh, they kind of uh, reviewed the team with me for a little bit as well so I do want to kind of mention them as well but um, Basically, the main thing is I I don't want to not mention these people because they have helped quite a lot. All right, so uh, we we actually ended up making it into playoffs surprisingly enough. Um, and I don't say surprisingly as in like I assumed to make playoffs. Just uh, I I just say it as joke because um, I mean the fixtures have been out for a while, but um. Yeah, main playoffs and uh, actually kind of fun, actually kind of cool because, like I said, it's a uh, first try and playing the draft format. So, um, actually really kind of happy <laughs> that 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 ended up up like that. Um, I mean, I would have been happy no matter what, but uh, that's besides the point. So, um, I'm uh, <clears throat> as I said, first place in the division, which means I'm going to be fighting the Camber Eye Garden. Uh, Bob first um, is my first game in the. In the playoffs, that's basically what that means, um, and it means uh, Murkrow, uh, Mr. Murkrow, um, is going to be playing uh, the VCU Rush Rams Pierre uh, in uh, his first game. So, and of course, uh, winners fight the winners, and losers fight the losers at that point. So, that's going to be uh, fun enough. Um, I have a few, I guess, projections that I can make about what's going to happen. I think the straw poll in itself um, summarizes kind of nicely what we all believe is going to happen. Um, I show the poll uh, because I completely agree with it. I completely agree with this. Basically what's going to happen is um, I'm going to lose to Bob and I'm pretty sure Merc is going to beat Pierre. Now that's not saying anything against Pierre. Uh, Pierre is a great battler but like Merc's team is like insanely good. Um, yeah, I guess that's my opinion, but like, just my projections are it's going to be Bob versus Merc as the final, and me versus Pierre. So I actually haven't prepped at all for Merc's team, so for some reason I fight Merc, that's going to be really not good, because I have not prepped at all for Merc's draft. Um, I've prepped for Bob's game, and I've prepped for prepped for Pierre's game, so guess we will see how that goes. But all that aside, uh, one last thing I think, I suppose, I kind of want to talk about, um, I'll probably do an actual video kind of specifically on this, um, but um, me, David, and Chris, I believe, are the only ones that, um, well, actually, there's, there's like five people, but I was going to say those are the only ones I've, like, played on this channel, but there's, like, um, actually, I think it says somewhere here, I should have it written down, yeah, uh, me, me, David, Tom, Christian, and Ethan, um, the five of us kind of started our own league, which is kind of funny, um, and but what we mean by started our own league is, um, David kind of came up to us and he's like, hey, yo, why don't we start a league, and uh, we all just said, hey, <laughs> might as well, right, so, um, I mean, I, I always thought it'd be something kind of cool to do, but like, I mean, I have absolutely, I, my lack of experience in league is kind of something that would have prevented me from ever, actually, not ever, but it would have prevented me from going around and just um, starting some random league up by myself. Um, but because, you know, a whole bunch of people were starting it up and because it was offered to me, um, yeah, we decided to co-found this league. It's uh, the LPA, which is the... I should have it here. It's like... Uh, so IPA, wow, never mind, I'm a <laughs> IPA, not LPA, okay, International Pokemon Association, that is the, uh, the name of our, our league, um, unfortunately, um, Smogon Phase Clan did not win, that's the, that's the name I voted for, <laughs> um, <laughs> but what can you do, anyway, so yeah, that's the, the league we've got going, um, and on that note, um, I'm not going to be joining the GPC for the next season, um, Kind of because, um, I kind of want to touch on this, uh, I kind of want to make kind of a formal point on it as opposed to just, um, having it happen without really talking about it, um, leaving the GBC for season, um, four, um, if there's a spot in season five, uh, which there probably won't be, but if there's a spot in season five, um, I'll try to probably get back in there because I really enjoy GPC, um, that is, 
I don't know. I feel um I feel like I've built a good enough connection with a lot of the people there. I feel like I've got um not really patriotism towards it, I suppose. I think that's kind of a not good way to explain it, but like I feel like um I don't know. I feel like uh, I had a bit of a connection with that league, I suppose in some way, but um what I'm trying to do right now is kind of try to get into a few good like study habits um cuz I don't have the best study habits right now, um, just because, I don't know, I don't have the best study habits, I'm trying to kind of get into, like, I mean, I don't have horrible study habits, it's not like I'm, you know, failing, it's not like I'm doing bad, like, I'm doing good in everything that I'm doing, but, like, I want to start getting into some good habits in terms of, kind of, just getting to the, into the habit of kind of sitting down and studying um even just when i have nothing to do you know i want to get into the habit of kind of reviewing stuff i think that's a major way to say it. i just want to get into a habit of reviewing stuff a bit more so uh as it stands right now um in order to make new habits it's just the basically the thing for making a habit is just you have to have repetition you have to you know do it several times and you know a whole bunch of times um and i know that if i stayed in gpc i would definitely spend a lot more time team building than I would, or, you know, just a lot more time on the GBC uh, community team building um, and all that stuff than um, I would, I'm hoping to spend on um, building new uh, study habits and stuff, if that kind of makes any sense. So I did step out of the GPC, like I said. Um, However, that being said, like I said, I am um, in this league, and it kind of seems as if I'm, like, just blowing off the GPC, and I'm like, yo, I'll just start my own league here, you guys, you know, it, like, it's, it kind of seems like I'm blowing it off, but I think the big thing to take from what I'm trying to say is that um, I took, like, GPC, like, really, uh, really seriously, really competitively for all but, like, um, team building for Merc's game, I'd say, um, I didn't team build very good, but I took the game very seriously, um, against Chris's game, I, uh, Chris's game for the mid-season, I, I did that pretty much completely for fun, um, so that's, I guess, another one, and then against Brett, when I pretty much, when there was pretty much very little way of me actually not making the playoffs, um, that was another time that I did uh, just for fun, um, but other than those, every time that um, it was an act, every time that, you know, the uh, requirement for playing competitively in order to make the uh, playoffs came up, um, I felt I team built like a lot. Like I spent like pretty much the entire full weeks uh, on the, um, on team building. I, um, I'd make like about three or four front and back pages of blank paper on notes for each team, um, kind of threat lists, kind of damage calcs, kind of what is good against my opponent, um, kind of how the team synergizes against my opponent's threats, um, kind of trying to make it a balance of offense and defense, uh, or at least whatever balance I kind of needed. So I spent a lot of time on stuff like that, and in this league right here, um, like I said, this is a brand new league, and from like it's not going to be like a super competitive league in terms of comparing to like GPC so it's um it's going to be a lot more slack and I'm going to I'm really not going to be spending much time on team building I'm just kind of doing this for fun um in all honesty um yeah I'm just doing I'm just kind of doing this for fun um I'm going to try to bring some some fun sets uh, I did draft Mew I'll go over my full draft again in another video um so uh Hopefully we're gonna see return of the Zap Cannon Mew, the the greatest Mew set in the entire game. Um, but like I said, uh, this league will not be taking a lot of time, a lot of my time, um, for going over. But at the same time, it'll give me kind of a side hobby to do. Um, yeah, I guess that's really everything I wanted to say. Anyways, um, yeah, um, good luck to me in the playoffs. Um. Even though, I mean, we all know what's going to happen, but, like, good, good luck to me in the playoffs. I'll wish it anyways, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, be here for the next video.